Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for watching, tuning in, coming back, or whatever it is, but I appreciate it very much. And in this video, I want to talk about a little trick, for lack of a better word. Uh, when Luminar 3 with libraries first came out, a lot of people were like, how do you make virtual copies? So as a sidebar here, if you are a Lightroom user, there's a function in Lightroom where you go to, I think it's photo, and then create virtual copy. But as the name implies, it creates a, a virtual copy of the photo. So what that means is you have another copy of the photo sitting next to the original. And you can do it again and again and again. And the reason why people like this feature is because it allows you to make different edits to the photo. So you might take the original and edit it one way and then the next, uh, you know, maybe big bold colors, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the next, um, the virtual copy, you might make black and white. Um, and then maybe if you make another virtual copy, you might turn it into like a digital painting with like Topaz Studio or something. Um, you know, or the next one you might add a texture or you might do a square crop or whatever. I mean, the, uh, obviously the, the, uh, the options are limitless. Um, if you look on the Luminar uh, roadmap, which I'm going to show you right now, on their website, if you go in here, it's just uh, this link right here. So skyloom.com forward slash Luminar forward slash roadmap. If you go down here and take a look, uh, it says it's a planned feature. It's right here, right? Um, whoops. And it's planned between January of 2019 and December of 2019. So in other words, this year. Um, but it says you can create different versions with different styles, da 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 right? So virtual copies is not here today. However, um, I have a little trick. Uh, so let me open up Luminar. So here's Luminar. Now I'm in my library. I create a little folder on my desktop. I'm going to go Im uh, import that folder. So I'm going to say plus, add new folder, and let me get to my desktop. And it's a virtual copy demo add folder, right? So now this folder is going to come in here. My image gallery is going to update, and I've got two photos in it. It's a test. Um, I'm just showing you how you can do this little trick. Um, so there it is. There's one photo that's a JPEG, and this photo is a raw file. Now, the truth is you actually cannot create a virtual copy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, however, you can create a physical copy, um, and it's just as good. Um, however, it takes up more space. A virtual copy does not take up uh, very much space. I think it's just a, like a thumbnail um, or something. I'm not really sure how Lightroom does that. However, in Illuminar, uh, since you can't make a uh, copy of the image, you can go into this folder which is right here. Let me do that. And you can see this JPEG, right? And I can just say Command D and I have a copy of it. This raw file, I can say Command D and I have a copy of it, right? So now I have four photos, two originals and two copies. Now when I go back over here, guess what? The folder structure in Luminar syncs automatically with, um, uh, well, I'm sorry, the folder, Luminar 3, let me start that sentence over, you know, scratch. Um, Luminar 3, um, the way it works is the folder structure, it syncs with, uh, with the application automatically. So you can actually create a, it's not a virtual copy, it's a physical copy. And on Windows, I'm sure there's a different, you know, maybe it's, maybe it is command. I have no idea. I don't have Windows, but I'm sure you can make a copy of it uh, on Windows. So <clears throat> that's how you do it. Um, and now you got multiple versions of this photo. So you can come in here and say, Oh, I love this photo. I want to edit it some uh, one way, and now I can take this one and crop it or edit it a different way. And same thing here. This works on a RAW file or a JPEG. So, if you just want to take a look, you can see this is a JPEG copy, and that's the original JPEG. This is the .arw, which is a RAW file uh, copy, and that's the original RAW file. So it doesn't matter what the file type is, but you can just create a physical copy. Now. Word to the wise, you're actually creating an actual physical copy, so that means more hard drive space is, is being taken up. So if you do this on every photo, you're basically doubling the size of uh, the consumption of your hard drive space, right? However, it is a trick for now until we have the virtual copy capability built into Luminar 3. That's a trick for how to get another copy of your photo. You can just create it. You don't have to re-import it or whatever because the folder structure syncs with the application automatically, and then you have multiple copies in Luminar 3, and you can go edit to your heart's content. You can do it again and again and again if you want, right? So if I wanted another copy of this photo from Dublin, which I love that photo, um, I could just go here, and I can say Command D, and there's copy two, right? So let me close that. Let me go back. Uh, oop, not my trash. Let me open the app, and there it is again, right? So there's, uh, let's see, that's the original. That's the copy and copy two. So obviously it appears to be placing the copies in front of the original. I don't really care. Um, I would probably um, 
uh, you know, I'm happy that they're sticking together, I guess, but uh, the point is, I don't really care whether the copy's in front or not. However, that's just a little tip or trick or whatever you want to call it in terms of how you can get around the missing uh, virtual copy ability in Luminar 3 until the point that we do have it. And then once we do have it, you don't really need this trick, but it's kind of fun to do in the meantime. So, hope that helps very much. Thanks for watching. This was kind of a quick tip. I don't know how quick it was, but hope it's helpful. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time, my friends. Take care. Adios.